Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought I would do a little follow with me vlog or a shop with me vlog. I wanted to just go to a few different drugstores today and maybe also stop at Ulta. I'm kind of on the hunt to just find some good spring summer blushes and maybe like spring summer lip colors, you know, just see what what's out there because <laughs> it's been a minute since I've been out shopping so I just thought it would be fun to take you guys along with me and I'll probably do like a mini haul at the end of this we're gonna go in here and see what they have I thought we would do a little like maybe try on with the lip products. It's like maybe I will open that up so I can see. And this angle is probably not the most flattering for me because <laughs> I'm filming up. It's like double chinage. So I got one of these CoverGirl clean, fresh lip balms, like tinted lip balms. And this is in Life is Pink. It's just like, I have not bought like lipsticks in such a long time. I mean, like I've bought some lipsticks, but like a lot of my bright colors I have had for a really long time in my collection and I probably should declutter. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a lot of good spring lipstick um, options. I kind of feel like during the whole pandemic and everything, I kind of stopped wearing lipstick. Or if I wore it, it was like really natural colors. But it's kind of like a brighter pink. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like with that down, it just really makes everything so dark. Maybe I could put this here. Okay, maybe this works better over here if my phone <laughs> stays up. But that's what this lip color looks like. It's actually pretty cute. I like it. My car is beeping at us. Okay, I got two lip gloss things. So I got another one of the Maybelline Lifter Glosses and this is in the color Bubblegum. It's a bright pink color. So let's throw this on and see how this looks. It's like I've been wanting to get some more of these Lifter Glosses because I only have like one. I think the one I have is like a Moon. It's just like a, almost like a glittery or shimmery like topper. And I never noticed how much this smells like coconut. But I really like the way it smells. I don't remember my other one smelling like this, but maybe it does. So I think that's a really pretty color for summer. Let's see. Can you see it? Yeah, like these are the type of pink colors that I love for summertime. I got one of these blushes from Makeup Revolution. This is one of just their powder blushes, I guess. Yeah, powder blush. And this is in the color Pink Lady, which, like, wouldn't that pair so nice with this lip color? So I'm really interested to test that out. And then while I was picking that up, I saw their larger bronzer here. This is the Makeup Bronzer One Cool. And this looks like it would be like a good shade for me. And I've just been on the hunt to find some good drugstore bronzers because I don't really have a lot of great options in my collection. I mean, I do have some, but I just wanted more. And then I wanted to get these two e.l.f. Camo liquid blushes because I love all the ones that I have in my collection so far. And I got Pinky Promise and Coral Crush. And I just think these are the perfect blush colors for spring and summer. So I had to get these. These are kind of like my go-to blush colors for this time of year. So 
Um, let's see. Oh, and I wanted to get some different brow products to just try out. I normally do like clear brow gel. Like I usually use the e.l.f. clear brow gel, but I wanted to give their wow like tinted brow gel a, a shot and I got the shade in brunette and then I also got natural brown in their ultra precise brow pencil. So really curious about those. And then the rest of this stuff is lips. I got a bunch of different lip things. So I'm going to just test out the ones that are going to be easy to wipe off first <laughs> because some of the other ones are more like stains. So but yeah, I really like this lip lifter gloss. That was pretty. Um, I got one of the Revlon just super lustrous lipsticks. I actually don't have too many of these in my collection. And I know that these are like staples. Like just really great lip products from the drugstore. So, and it's always kind of hard to pick out the shades unless you just look up swatches online or, you know... If other people have recommended a specific shade or something and you've seen them wear it but just looking down in there it's like really hard to tell anything so hopefully this color will be good so I got the color gentlemen prefer pink and it looks like this I don't know if this is gonna be too like light baby doll pink like it's like the only thing I wasn't for sure okay I don't know, what do we think? Is it too pink? Is it a good pink shade? I think it's a good pink. I don't think it's too cool toned, which I was a bit worried if it would be, but that's gentlemen prefer pink. And it actually is a pearl. So it does have like a little bit of like a pearl ass finished finish in it. It's like for me, kind of like bright, coral pinks or just bright corals are normally like the colors I gravitate towards in the spring and summer months and also just like kind of bright reds like this one. I picked up one of the Clean Fresh Yummy Glosses from CoverGirl and this is in my straw booty. <laughs> I think personally I kind of prefer that Revlon lipstick over that CoverGirl like lip balm stuff. I find that those are kind of similar in color, but I think I actually like that Revlon one a little bit better. Okay, so let's try out this CoverGirl. And I don't know if this might be too clear. Okay, no, that's got like a good shade on it. I mean, it's not anything like too in your face, but it's very like juicy, We like you just ate a popsicle sort of look. Okay, yeah, that feels really nice on the lips. Almost like a lip oil. I don't know what I expected from these Yummy Glosses, but it is very, like, lip oil feel on the lips. And it kind of reminds me of the shade that I really like from Dior that I have, like, in their lip oil. Like, let me get it out real quick. So, this lip oil here... I know that the shades look different in the bottle, but I feel like once you get it on the lips, it looks really similar. This is in the color Raspberry. And, like, I know that these CoverGirl lip glosses, they don't, like, stain or pH adjust to your lips like the Dior. But I feel like the overall effect and feel is really similar. So, yeah, I like that. Had a few kind of, like, lip stain type products. So... I got two of the CoverGirl Outlast, and I think these are supposed to be like lip stains or lip tints or something. Does it say? Yeah, Outlast Lip Stain. Um, so, and then I also picked up one of the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Inks. I love these, and this is in the color Rogue, or is it Rouge? Rouge. I think it's Rogue. Yeah. R-O-G-U-E. Yeah, Rogue. <laughs> Not Rouge. That would have like a U in it. Like after the O. But I just think that this color is pretty. Like, I don't know what it's going to look like on. But yeah, like it's like a brighter kind of more muted pink. So I think I would like that shade too. So 
I feel like the worker in there, whenever I bought all this, like my total was a little bit over a hundred dollars. <laughs> and I feel like he was looking at me like I was insane. Like, why are you buying this much makeup? <laughs> I'm like, you don't understand. I have a YouTube channel. And I just love makeup. But, like, what new things have you guys been into lately? I know that I was telling you guys in last week's video, um, just kind of doing, like, a life update and just telling you guys things about my channel that was going to change. Like, how I might do more vlogs like this. I was telling you guys that I can't be buying new makeup all the time. And then here we are buying new makeup. But I haven't bought anything new in quite a while, so it is justified. <laughs> Plus, I had things that I wanted to get, and I don't have to justify myself. Like, you know, if I want to get something, I'll get it. Um, let's try this pink one. I feel like they used to have lip stains back in the day. Do you guys remember that? This is pretty bright. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I should have done the Maybelline vinyl ink before this. I do like how precise the applicator is. Okay, yeah, this very, very bright pink. <laughs> this might be brighter than I would typically wear. Let me see if I can kind of blot it. It's not a bad color, but... I'm just like not really wanting to go so bright today. That is a pretty bright stain. Well, I'm not going to try this one on, but I also got the shade in Atomic Love, which is more of like, I think sort of like an orangey red. Yeah. Just did the teeniest little swatch of it right there on my hand. So that would be, that is going to be a really pretty red color. I do like that. Maybe we'll try to put this vinyl ink over top of this. It's definitely probably not going to give me the full effect of the vinyl ink. Okay, I have a feeling that with this vinyl ink, it probably made it a little bit... I don't know, maybe cool toned or brighter or something with that stain underneath. But I do really like this color. It's a good bright pink, but not like super intense. Like I said, it's a bit more muted. And this was in this shade Rogue. So yeah, I feel like that was a success with all those products that I picked up. And now I think I will go over to Ulta. We'll just like take a little look. driving all the way back home because I was starving <laughs> and so I ate lunch and now I just figured I'd come back to my car and film this just because the lighting is really good in here it's completely quiet no distractions like with the cats or with Josh because I know he's in a meeting right now so I just figured it would be better to do this in the car and I have a bubbly in here this is a new one. I just got this this past week. Not sponsored. <laughs> but this is the Bellini Bit Bliss. And I actually really like this. If you like these bubbly things, I think you would like this one. It's got peach, pineapple, and mango flavors. So. Yeah, 
Also, I swear, it sounds like it's so faint, so I know you guys won't be able to hear it, but it sounds like somebody is listening to Eminem Slim Shady. <laughs> like, it has that beat, so I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I got my Ulta bag here. And I did get, like, a few more blushes, but I saw this palette from LA Girl Desert Glow Envy, and I feel like one of you guys asked me if I would do a review on this collection from LA Girl, <laughs> and I saw this, and I was like, oh my gosh, this palette is beautiful. So, that's what the colors look like. I have not opened this yet, but maybe tomorrow I can film a video like using this for the first time so this is what the colors look like probably won't swatch anything right now but i think i saw another youtuber like review this palette and she did a look with it i can't remember exactly who it was but i just remember like the blues look really pretty on her i just think these colors are really beautiful for spring like such pretty colors so yeah, I'm interested to test this palette out. And this palette feels really nice. I don't feel like it was too expensive. Um, well, I guess it was a little bit expensive. It was $15.99. But, I mean, it's a nice palette. Like, it feels nicely made. The shadows look like they're a decent size. So, I'll keep you guys posted on that. And then, I got the... Glow Envy Bouncy Bronzer. And hopefully you guys can kind of see it there. But this is, I guess maybe they only have one color. It just says Bouncy, oh, Sun, or yeah, Sun Kissed Glow is the shade on this. And I did swatch this earlier, but it's really interesting because it feels like a cream like in here, but I feel like when you rub it on, it almost feels like a powder. It's like a cream to powder situation. And I just thought that that shade was really pretty. I don't even know if you can see it super well, but like it just looks really beautiful. So I am interested to try that out. And then I did get the LA Girl setting spray. I have not used this before. And I used up my Urban Decay All Nighter, which I do need to order that while Sephora is having their sale. So I might go order that after this. Maybe order like a few things that I'm about to run out of or that I've run out of that I get from um, Sephora. But anyway, there's this. So I will see how I feel about this. But yeah, since I ran out of that setting spray, I just wanted to maybe try out some other drugstore setting sprays. And I feel like that LA Girl one, let's see. It was, well, I guess it was normally, the setting spray is normally $7.99 and I got it for $5.59. They had it on sale. And then I got the bronzer, the LA Girl bronzer. I got it on sale for $5.59 as well. It was normally $7.99. So those two things were on sale. And then I got this Essence Peachy, yeah, Peachy Blossom Blush and Highlighter Palette. Like, is this new? Because I had never seen this before. And it was down with, like, the, the face palette that I had got. The Bloom Baby Bloom palette. Like, maybe this came out the same time that those palettes came out. But I just didn't see this. But I just thought that these colors looked really pretty for spring and summer. So, it's got three blush colors there. And two highlights. And I felt like both of these highlights would probably work for my skin tone. Look really nice. I really like the, like, Go Champagne one. Can you see? I don't know, but I think those are pretty. And I feel like these other blush colors will be nice. It's, like, a lot brighter than I thought. Like, really Barbie pink. See it there? Yeah, so I really like those blush colors swatched. 
they're really really pretty i mean honestly the highlights and blush were really pretty in this palette i mean i loved my other essence palettes that i got the bloom baby bloom so i think i'm really going to enjoy that and then the last thing that i saw was that elf has the power grip dewy setting spray and I'm kind of on the fence about their Power Grip primer. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't know if it's, like, my favorite primer ever. But this just looked super interesting to me. Like, I wanted to try it. Um, but it says that you can use this either before you do your makeup or after. So, you can use it both ways. So... Those were all of the items that I picked up at Ulta, so not as much as at Walgreens, which honestly, I probably should have just bought the things at Ulta because at least I would have had like my Ulta points, but I just saw things that I liked and I just wanted to get it there just in case like maybe I went to Ulta and then they didn't have it. I know I probably didn't get a ton of footage of me shopping it's just going to take me some time to get used to filming <laughs> like vlog style out in public like that when other people are around. It's like I don't want other people to feel uncomfortable and I mean I don't feel completely confident with it so it is a little bit uncomfortable for me to film out in public. But I am just using my phone so it's pretty discreet. Thank you so much for all of your lovely comments and feedback on my video last week. I had some of you say that you would like to see these types of videos, but I feel like most of you guys still just want to see makeup content from me. So hopefully this is a good mesh between the two, some vlogging along with makeup, but we'll just see what I end up coming up with. But definitely since I have some new products here, I'll feel inspired with these. When I film some more like shop my stash type of videos because I got a lot of feedback that you guys would like to see that. I know that so many of you guys love the get ready with me's and I love filming those as well. <clears throat> Thank you so much if you stay to the end and if you like this give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Mwah. You shouldn't doubt yourself because you're a work of art.